Hey guys, Bang Bang Scooter Gang here. Um, just got some new mods and going about to do some new mods on the Hellcat here. Um, already gotten the muffler, gotten a new tail light with turn signals in it for a Grom. So I have a video of that just telling you about the bike, but to get in depth on how to do the tail light, when we give you a link in the description, it's going to be the same concept for this here. You get old Hellcat. So, if you have a little bit of wiring knowledge, like a little bit of wiring knowledge, like basic wiring skills, you should be able to figure it out, no problem. If you don't, so be it. We can help you out. Right here, what he's what he just done there? Two tens, literally just poke in here the two little rubber grommets here. Yep. They'll be sticking in here. Get your ten millimeter out. Take that nut off. That nut off. The thing literally slides right out. On the ice pair here, and for the uh, Hellcat, you'll have couple plugs here um, one will be for the um, tail light and everything that'll have three three plugs here now on the ice pair here um, we'll show you diagnostic tests here and show you what does which just in case you guys don't have a test or anything like that yep. <clears throat> hey guys um, this will be your high wow look at flames and everything Get your high tech uh, probe tester out. Hey, not everybody has to have one of these, okay? Not everybody works on cars every day for a living. You can have a simple thing like this. Let me take the other over here. Why don't you talk back to the viewers? So, in a short amount of time, we <laughs> have acquired many, many parts off these bikes. All right, we got an intake tube Intakes, here. Intakes, bulbs. We got some bulbs, random, random blown out bulbs, you know. Super glue. Yeah, super glue. Found that in intake. We got two car um, We got all these parts here. Yeah, John's SSR lights. And yeah, John. Signals. Man, yeah, many, many parts. Random air box chilling over here. Yep, that thing mine. should be in the trash, but it's still here. Nope, this is, this was off mine. Huh, interesting. But to get back to what we're saying, uh, anyway, get your probe tester out if you really want to yeah. have one, or get your old dinosaur out. Yeah, this is this is dinosaur. A this is a power probe here. This is fairly expensive for what it is. Here's just a simple tester. You can probably go to any Harbor Freight and get one for like ten bucks, maybe. Yeah, or just, you know, if you're really that lazy and don't have the option, or just don't don't know how or anything, this is why we are doing this video. If you got the Ice Bear Fruza, um, literally. We'll tell you which is which, so just follow this video and you'll know what to do. And then with the Hellcat, I have some footage we can throw in there too. And tell you the same thing on that. But, if you have your tester... I think we have to start seeing if we run it. Oh. Because none of the lights work unless it's running. That's true. You notice that? Start your... On the, on the Ice Bear, Fruza. Oh, the third signals work. Yeah, well, oh, you don't think you have to have the bike on. Brake lights should work. No, the brake lights don't either. Press it hard. They don't. Huh. <laughs> That's weird. Well, at least we can find out what the turn signals are. If you know what I mean here. So, obviously... Yeah, press harder on the brake there. Like, all the way down. I am yeah, pushing. it's working now. Uh, I think my switch needs adjusted because I shouldn't have to tromp on that hard. Yeah, because this works good. Oh, okay. Well, then I lied, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, well obviously here... But on Ice Bear, what you want to do is turn your bike on. doesn't need to be fully running, but just turn the key to run. Then... Okay, so that's a ground right there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. You're going to obviously see it if, you, if he has the camera on it. See how it has a negative right there? That's a ground. So that, that makes sense, okay? Because we got both these turn signals here. They all come into one ground's place, which is ground right here. So all we got to do for this, this new light... Wherever the new light's at. It's down so there. on your bike itself, which you're testing. I'm testing the turn signals right now. Okay. You're solid green. And that actually the same thing for the Hellcat. Well, your actually, solid green is your ground. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because it's the same. Solid green is your ground for the Ice Bear Feruza and the Teo Teo Hellcat. Now, now, mind you, there is two different separate wires, wire harnesses coming up from the back here. Yeah. You got to go with the one that's partially electrical taped, it looks like. Yeah, well, you'll see. Like, here's the turn signals for here. So follow this, comes up. Okay, yep. turn signal here. Follow this one back up. And turn signal here. Yep. 
So obviously these are the grounds because they're both spliced together. Solid green is ground. Oops. Just unplug these. Okay, so obviously that's your, that's gonna be your. Okay, so ground. Obviously gonna be your left turn. And uh, looks like an orange color here. This orange will be your left turn signal. So, and from the bike, orange is your left. This baby blue is your right turn signal. Sky blue, baby blue, whatever you want to call it. Now on here, your old tail light, just clarification here. Uh, green is your ground. Uh, did we figure out what brown was yet? Uh, no, I can't remember. I'm assuming it's probably the same thing as yours, which I don't really remember. So I don't know. We we'll, we'll test it. Some old, old, you know. Now we're there. getting rid of these because the okay, just you know, hand tight. Cool. <laughs> um, that might have been one of the things I forgot to check over. Yeah, we're uh, taking these off because the new Grom it will fit, guys. Um, tail lights will fit on both these bikes. And See, look at right here it's got the brake light and the turn signals built into it which is going to make this bike look super slick and super clean yep which is what we're going for so i'm sure you guys can see they're very very similar in design like even they're exact same literally the exact same thing so you are going to run into problem but i i got the washers now what you want to do like you don't you, get them you um our bikes the uh, hellcat and the ice bear will have one continuous thread here okay so when you put that in there you can you know throw your nut on there as far as you can to make it tight well what the problem is here is you have partial thread here see it's got it's got threads right there and it's got a collar right there pretty much so when it tightens it won't tighten anymore correct so pretty much it's going to leave it it's going to be floppy loose so there. what you want to do is get washers is what we did um that slips over this collar that comes out a little bit like this that's why when you put in the rubber grommets and you put another washer on the outside you can then make it tight. Yep, it'll, it'll pull it tight. I think I have washers down there, but I think they're- <coughs> I have brand new ones too, I got. I grabbed extra for this case. Yeah. Yeah. Solder back through the hole. See if I can see what I'm doing here. And for purposes here, we'll just throw in there. Oh yeah. Oh, that actually fits kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie. Yep. Yep, yeah, we'll probably need a couple washers on there. Yeah, to pull it tight. All right, let me go get some washers. Okay, we got some washers here. So see how they're see how they're just a little bit bigger than the actual thing is. That's basically so when you start tightening it down and it starts pushing on that rubber right there, it will the collar slide. It, go, it, it goes past the collar pretty much, and it actually allows it to like see how it's kind of like squishing out right there. It allows it to like smash past it, so it actually tightens it up without being loose in there. So if you would actually wouldn't mind giving me those washers down there. Yes. Mm, okay. Nice I just got got the whole thing. Nice thing about these new tail lights is it comes with all new hardware. Besides the washers, obviously, but Well yeah, remember it's for Grom. Yeah. So there's gonna be some slight things that we're gonna have to modify or do. But it's a good thing we're doing this because we get to figure out all the flaws and know hows and uh, I don't wanna say rigging, but showing you the way around things, what you could do to make things work and not work and blah blah blah. So when you guys do it and you run into this option or you're like, man, can't find anything for my bike or anything like this. Well, sure enough, we probably thought about it and we had came up with a solution for it. So we're getting these washers on. I'm kind of struggling here a little bit with my huge sausage fingers. Hmm. I think weird. I got, it. I got it. That's weird. I got it. Okay. See? Oh, yeah. See? I love non-ratchet ratch wrenches. Yeah, even, I really, <laughs> really should have just a ratcheting wrench right now, but... Again, they're, they're still 10s, so which is nice. Everything's either 10 or 12 on this thing. I'm thinking the majority of it's all 10. So we have an embar uh, embarrassing situation yesterday uh, while T is, Tom is tightening us up. Tried out my new muffler yesterday. Um, sounds great. Got it all welded up and, you know, everything's good. I was sitting in the driveway, and you all know <laughs> that I uh, kind of... Uh, Hurt my foot during an accident. I remember that. So I get on the bike. I didn't even get halfway on the bike, and I literally was just like, "Nope," and just fell over like a truck, like a tree that was cut down. You know, someone out there's probably can yell timber, and here comes Adam falling off his bike. 
Literally, just laid the whole thing over for no I, reason. I kind of questioned what you were doing. Tom's I... sitting here on his bike, and he's just kind of watching because he's ready to give me my helmet. And next thing you know, he sees me on the bike, and I just fall over. Literally, just straight <laughs> to the ground. What happened was, it was cold out, and my foot's See, not fully healed. Was... And my foot, my little tendon here, whatever on the side, decided that it went into pinch and locked up. Well, that hurt like a freaking freight train. And I happened to... Go down. <laughs> Go down with the bike, we should say. It was embarrassing. Figured out this one here is the brake light. The green with the here. yellow. We'll yeah. just show you. Here. Okay. So right green here. Green with your yellow traveler. Yeah, it, I guess it all depends on what light you have, to be honest with you, because Adam's a little different. Well, that's the same thing. Is it? Yeah, I just forgot which one was. All right, you see how bright that is? See how it's pretty bright? Now, if you switch over to this one here, which is black for some reason which is kind of weird see how it's not as bright that means that's your running light that's basically supposed to run all the time yeah as soon as you turn the key on or have the bike running so green with your yellow traveler let's show them see yellow with the green i don't know if you guys can see that or not yeah you can see it. it's pretty yep that yep. is your brake light yep this one here is your running light the black one black running light yep i, I don't know if you guys notice how it has Two terminal, how it has actual terminals in here, how it won't like plug into these. That's because this right here actually comes with this connector because it's for a Grom pretty much. That's actually supposed to plug into the Grom's wiring harness. Yeah, my bike, my light came with this already on, so I had to snip it off yeah. and then, you know, make my own ends. But basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them <clears throat> off here and solder them onto here. Or actually, this wiring harness, I lied, I'm sorry. Yeah. This one here because that's your running light harness. Or you're gonna use both of those though. Yeah. Well, yeah, these ones are here are going to be nice because they'll just plug right in. Yeah, oh, yeah, true, true, very true. So actually, I could probably just do that right now. Yeah, we'll find out. Okay, now easy test is since your yellow ones on the new brake light is your, is your uh, turn signals. And just so happened, same with my bike and his bike, the turn signals. These are the turn signals here. Oh, wait, this is your, oh, okay. These are for the running lights Sorry. here, which got to go into this harness. Yep. But uh, just turn one of the turn signals on. Okay, we're going to put left turn signal on. Oh, that's right. I got to hook the ground up, too. Yep, hook your ground up. Uh, it's going to be this guy here. So, wherever I put my tool at. Nice thing about this power probe thing is that we were talking about, it has a ground on it. Basically, when you hook it up to your battery, it has a positive and negative here. So, you can either put ground to a thing, or you can take ground or t put power to it. Okay, so we got the wrong one here. See how it's the wrong side? All you got to do, since there's two yellow wires, you just got to swap them. Yep. Put left. Good. Left. Cool. And so they're both yellow, so you you know you could do the trial and error. Uh, but left is on the bike will be your orange, yep. and then blue will be your right. So since we have two solid yellows, easiest way turn on your right turn signal. Plug this one into the right one, which would be your blue. And if it doesn't light up, or if it lights up the opposite, yeah, if side, it lights up the opposite, then you just flip flop the wires. It won't blow your, nothing will blow or anything. You're good. But, uh, yeah. Cool. Let me, uh, let me tighten these terminals up a little bit. <clears throat> Might want to say that. So if your connection's here, if you're able to plug and play, like, uh, the turn signal. Yeah, see here. how these, see how these, one, the plug's round here? It's round, and see how that one's kind of like a, a male? Basically, when you plug it in here, see how it feels like it's a little loose or whatever? Basically, there's like a little divided area right there. It's a little slit in there. You yeah, press. just take a pair of pliers or something. Just kind of push on it. Just kind of close it up a little bit. See how it's kind of, it's I don't know smaller. if you can see that. Yeah, you it's can. a little smaller right there. And basically all you gotta do, just plug it in there. Just make sure it's got a firm connection. Cause you, last thing you want to do is get pulled over cause your turn signals aren't working or something, you know? Cause have a loose connection. Yeah, cause you have a loose connection. But they're nice and tight now. Yeah. That's good. Yep. No, no more, now you're done. Now, the nice thing is you will not need to use all so, these extra grounds. So you here. need one ground for so this here. light. What, what we're gonna do is, since this is the ground wire, we already established that with this power probe. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna permanently make a connection on this. Yes. Since this is the, the whole, this is the ground for this entire light. 
So pretty much all the lights that are built into this all come through this ground. Yes. So yeah, the grounds all go to the same place. So you don't need to hook all these grounds to yeah, one. So it's just. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a ground too. So you don't even have to use that one. You can actually tape that one off or. Yeah. If you really want to, you can cut it off, but I don't recommend it. Just leave it there. It won't do anything. Yeah, it won't hurt. No anything. power is going to it. You won't be shorting anything out. So yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and cut this nonsense off here. I don't know what this is. So we're gonna cut this, strip an end out, cut the other side off, and then what we soldering it. Yeah, we're gonna end up soldering that one. Okay, so then we'll solder it. It's not really. We'll a show problem. you some pictures of a good solder and everything like that. Okay, guys, just a little uh, of what your material is here. Um, you can get a nice butane. What's butane? Yeah, it's butane. Yeah. Um, and it's just a gas uh, uh, soldering gun. You can take the tip off and use it as a torch as well. Yeah. So it makes great for when you cut your ends, take off, uh, stri uh, strip your wire. I um, mean, you have your. Uh, wire sitting there, put your heat uh, shrink wrap on, and you can uh, use the torch to go over and heat your uh, your shrink wrap up too. Uh, but we're just gonna give you how to do, we did all the wires, we got one wire left, we're gonna show you, and it's the same concept for the rest of them. But if you were to get all the supplies, you could do it yourself. Yeah, you might wanna use two people because one can hold the wire while you solder on. But you wanna get your solder, um, a basic, uh, soldering pen which is probably the cheapest bet or you can get a nice torch uh for like that was like 30 bucks whatever but it's nice um and if you don't want to get that and you want to just spend like 10 bucks whatever a nice little heat pen do it but you might want to get a lighter so when you put the heat wrap on you just take a lighter you know right underneath it or whatever and then shrink your wrap so he just cut his wire stripped I'm it i'm gonna out. try to do this without having to have your help i twisted it up pretty good here okay so, so. what he did was he cut the wire Hold on here, Tom. You're getting a little excited here. I... One thing they say to do when you're soldering, put your heat underneath your wire. And put your solder on top of the wire. Yep. See how it kind of pulled it in there and it kind of made it real, look real nice? That's the final product. There you go. You'll, you'll see if it's a good solder because it'll you'll see it. It'll, it like pulls it in. It looks like it's almost one with the wire. And then, yep, forgot to put shrink wrap on it. That's awesome. <laughs> well, uh, that's getting electrical tape because I'm not taking that back off again because that was the best one to be. Yeah, with. and again, yeah, you can use electrical tape, but we'll just cut a little bit of your heat right, shrink wrap here, slide it on, cut your ends or whatever, put them together, solder it, and then you slide it over, and then you get your lighter. Kind of, you know, don't get too close to you because you will burn it then. Yeah. But just kind of slightly underneath you'll see a little bit. It, you'll see it kind of shrink. Of, you'll see it kind of pulling against it. And then it. once you see the wire kind of looks like it's bulging out, that's you know you got a good thing there. And don't be like me and forget to put it on there before you solder. Yeah, and if you do, like an idiot. electrical tape. That's what's there for. Awesome guys. Now let's put this bike together, get this all back and going, see the final product. Now when everything is all soldered up and everything, now you have a nice clean bike. All right, guys, brake light. Now, the turn signals. There you go. That's the bike right there. And, uh, yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed that video. More mods and more things on the way. And we'll let you know how everything goes. So, later guys.